meeting of the Republican leaders of the House and Senate was held this morning. At that conference, it was agreed, first, that the whole question of the conduct of foreign and military policy be investigated by the Congress in the light of the latest tragic developments. Second, that the Congress should have the complete views of General MacArthur and he should be invited to return forthwith for that purpose. In addition, the question of possible impeachment was discussed. The question we have had to face is whether the communist plan of conquest can be stopped without a general war. Our government and other countries associated with us in the United Nations believe that the best chance of stopping it without a general war is to meet the attack in Korea and defeat it there. I have thought long and hard about this question of extending the war in Asia. I have discussed it many times with the ablest military advisors in the country. I believe with all my heart that the course we are following is the best course. I believe that we must try to limit the war to Korea for these vital reasons, to make sure that the precious lives of our fighting men are not wasted, to see that the security of our country and the free world is not needlessly jeopardized, and to prevent a third world war. A number of events have made it evident that General MacArthur did not agree with that policy. I have therefore considered it essential to relieve General MacArthur so that there would be no doubt or confusion as to the real purpose and aim of our policy. It was with the deepest personal regret that I found myself compelled to take this action. General MacArthur is one of our greatest military commanders, but the cause of world peace is much more important than any individual.